Hi everybody, this is Terry Doherty, and I'm in the Mom's Choice Awards studio at Book Expo America 2014, and we're talking with Marilyn Hallis of the award-winning series, Buzz Whippers. Welcome to BEA, Marilyn. Well, thank you so much. It's a thrill to be here. It's really great. So tell me, A, what a fuzz whipper is, mm -hmm. and then I'll ask you about why parents love them so much. Wonderful. Um, well, this is one of my fuzz whipper friends, and fuzz whippers are little creatures that come to your child at a time when maybe they need a little extra support. For a lot of us, that's all the time. Yes. You know, first days of school and uncomfortable situations, it's always fun to know that you have someone on your side. And really that's what fuzz whippers are all about. Just to remind everyone, parents as well, that we're loved no matter what. So tell me why parents love fuzz whippers. Okay. Um, you know, we've been very fortunate to have such great parent connections with this series. And I think part of the reason for that is that, you know, we're all wanting to empower our children. There's so much talk about, you know, someday you will become and being the next thing. I think a lot of us moms and dads enjoy those opportunities when we can say to our child, you're already enough. In this moment, right now, you have what you need and I can help you find it. So the Fuzz Whipper books are all about helping moms and dads empower their children. You know, um, I'm a big fan of rescue, but it's kind of all about empowering your child. Do you have any examples of where, you know, that empowerment has started to show itself? you know, from a parent telling you a story. Sure, yeah, you know, we've had great stories and the feedback is my favorite part. Um, I had one mom whose daughter does ice skating competitively and it was her first big competition and she had worked for weeks and that's a big deal, as you know, anytime you're working toward a goal. And she developed this great relationship with her fuzz whipper and she even made a bed for it out of a tissue box. And at the, about a week before the show, her mother had to stitch into her costume a pocket for her fuzz whipper. Oh, that is so sweet. Because it just, it helped her really be her best self. And it just gave her that extra confidence to go out there and pass that skating test and move on to the next level. And you know, we were all proud of her. I didn't even know the little girl, but I was so happy for her in that moment. Because there's nothing like that feeling of accomplishment and security, you know, to, to feel self-esteem, but also self-confidence. You know, I was talking to an author yesterday who's had multiple books in a series. And one of the things that she kept saying was, I know I'm not supposed to have a favorite child, oh. <laughs> but I, uh, you know, thinking of her books as a child, in the series, do you have one of the titles that just sort of, this is my, yeah, this is the one I'm really the proudest of, sure, or I most sure. connect with. You know, I've had such fun writing this series. I have to say, I'm always a little bit in love with whichever one I'm working on at the moment. That but makes sense. Of them all, I think the one that has really had a very broad appeal with families, and certainly my own included, has been, you know, fuzz whippers have feelings too. I think every child has a moment when they're experiencing something that's a little exciting or uncomfortable and they're not quite sure where to put that. And so to normalize that and to let kids know we're all in the same boat, we're all doing the best we can with what we have, and you're all right. You're all right. Everything will be all right. You know, stick together and, and everything will be okay. Um, I, I really enjoy that one. I never get tired of reading any of them, but that one has a soft spot. That one has a soft spot. Now, when you prepare the books for sale and retail or bookstores, right. do they come packaged with fuzz whippers or do you recommend that they both be bought together? How does that work? Well, the way that usually works is um, typically the book is purchased separately. And the nice thing about a fuzz whipper is it really is powered by imagination. So it's all about your child sort of taking ownership of that idea and running with it and, and really making it their own. Um, the fuzz whippers themselves are available on our website and the books okay. are available wherever books are sold. So right before BEA, there was this huge campaign, you know, hashtag, we need diverse books. Yeah, we do. We do. You've already got that covered. Yes. How, I mean, why was that some, was it something that you consciously thought of as you were putting the books together? You know, I think it was, it was certainly conscious, but also in a way unconscious. I look around, I have four children, and I can look around and see there are all different people in all different shapes and colors and circumstance and sizes. And my fuzz whippers are in all different colors and shapes and circumstances and sizes. And I wanted so much to write a book for every family that we can all find that even though we are individual and very different, we have great common ground. And that's what I wanted kids to know in the books, you know, that, that we're all different and we're 
to celebrate that. That's a beautiful thing. Because even though as different as we are, you know, we're bringing different things to the table. And there's something that everyone brings that can be celebrated. And I love celebrating. I think that's I great. I do too. I love that. Awesome. Thank you for coming by today. Thank you so much for having me. This has been such a pleasure. Excellent. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Absolutely.